Hi guys and welcome back to Chips Green World. Before we start this week's vlog I thought I'd show you a glimpse of the beautiful blossom on the plum tree in the courtyard. Meanwhile let me tell you a bit about what to expect in this week's vlog. I'm going to be trimming and shaping the big box ball in the top garden. Then I'll be also clipping the circular boxwood hedge that surrounds the big box ball. Then I'll be also doing a bit of edging around the centre circle. So while I'm in the potting shed getting the tools I'll need for the jobs, you can join Gypsy Boy who started work cutting the grass. Well I say grass, it's more moss these days. I would say around 75% moss. So it's definitely getting there folks. And for those of you who are new to the channel, uh, wondering what I'm going on about, I've decided to let the moss take over the lawn as it's so much better for the environment. As a small moss lawn absorbs more carbon than 275 trees. So I reckon I've got about 500 trees here. And you may notice that we've changed our lawnmower. It's because the fly mower that we were using was digging up the moss and that was no good. So we got gifted this little motor from Gypsy Boy's father. Very kind indeed. Cheers Don. So I've got my old shears, I've got a new pair of shears, I've got my clippers. I think I'll be using my new shears to do the topiary, but I've got my old ones just in case. Let's put them down there and check on the lawn. Oops a daisy. Gypsy boy's missed a bit. Gypsy boy, you've missed a bit. And it's goodbye Gypsy Boy and hello Spud. Oops, she's just checking that the lawnmower is not coming back out. She's not a fan of the lawnmower. She looks like she's just got out of bed. Little sleepy cat. So what are you going to do while I'm doing the hedge? Ah, you're off into the back. Back to sleep. Her favourite little place. Just check in that the coast is clear and then into the wilderness. Go on then, off you pop. And off she goes. Right, back to the garden. First we're going to tackle the big boxes ball in the middle. Then we're going to be trimming and whipping into shape the boxwood topiary hedge that surrounds the middle. Right, so let's make a start using my shiny new shears. So remember that this is three box hedges planted together to create one giant box. The sides have yet to fill in so it's still a globe in training. We still use the same method Monk's Crown down and around. But this time round it's more like Monk's Crown back down and around. Or even up and over. And at this stage it's very tempting to snip a bit more off the middle. But resist as you will lose the globe shape completely. And one last thing, don't forget to trim the bottom.
Right, now move on to box hedge trimming. And the best advice I can give you for this, focus on getting the top level first. Keep in the same stance as you go around. Then trim down from above two inches to get the width. Doing this inside and out. Then clip the sides to this depth. Right, so I'm very pleased with that. Everything's looking very crisp and neat. And the box will be fine now for the full year ahead. The lawn will need edging again, but by removing the pebbles this time around and weeding, it will make next time so much easier. And if you guys want a bit more information on topiary trimming and shaping, check out vlog 20, trimming the box's topiary balls. An old one, but a good one. I'll put a link at the end for you. But one last thing, I've had a lot of questions on boxes, boxwoods, hows, wheres and whys and could I do more in real time. So I'm going to do an upcoming blog where it'll be in real time and I'll try to answer as many questions as possible. So if you do have a question, leave it down below and I'll try and fit that in. And that's about it for this week guys. Hope you've enjoyed. Thanks for watching. Bye now.